episode of The Redefined Show, I illustrate how you can take one rather versatile lens and get extraordinary macro, beautiful close-ups, and classic portraits. Join me. Adorama TV presents The Redefined Show with Tamara Lackey, bringing fresh ideas and equipment favorites. You can check out much more content with photographers by watching Adorama TV. Hi, this is Tamara Lackey, and on this episode of The Redefined Show for Adorama TV, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite lenses, the ultra versatile 105-28 micro lens. It's technically called the Micro 105 F2.8 lens from Nikkor, um, but it's a macro lens. Micro and macro are pretty interchangeable terms. And what you can use it for is not only one-to-one -one magnification of any sort of object, which means you can go extremely close up and show exactly the size of the object in the full frame, but you can also stand back and use it as a portrait lens. It's fairly quick as a lens, not, not super quick, not as quick as say the 24-70 to 2.8 lens, um, but you can get some action out of it as well. I'm gonna show that off with our wonderful model today, Mr. Caleb. Caleb, thank you for joining us today. Just like to say hi. Okay, um, Caleb is coming to us with artistic clothing. He actually designed the shirt himself. It was very impressive. Um, and we are going to show how I can use this lens, the macro capabilities, to go extraordinarily close. Um, the difference between this lens and other macro lenses that I've used in the past is that you do have that one-to-one -one magnification where you can get very close in, and you can at any time use the autofocus, you can jump to a manual focus. So if you're getting very, very close and you're finding that the lens isn't exactly grabbing the focal points that you want, you can simply switch to the manual mode. Um, a lot of times people have a question about the way the lens works. On the outside, it has an MA or an M. Um, the MA simply means it's the autofocus. That's all that means. Um, so sometimes people even scratch out the M or we'll put a little duct tape over it or something just not to be confused. And the M is the manual mode. So I will switch to a manual mode if I'm getting extraordinarily close and finding that I'm not getting everything in focus that I want. What the lens does well is that that will auto calculate what I need for a depth of field as I'm getting closer and closer to my object or my subject. So in this case, we're gonna show how you can take Caleb and fill the entire frame with just his eye by using these capabilities. This is Tamara Lackey. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win some fabulous prizes. If I'm gonna do a uh, macro shot, I'm gonna switch to, in, in these lighting conditions, I'm gonna be about an ISO 100. Um, I know that I'm gonna go very close in and I want a lot in focus, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, choose a smaller aperture, which lets more in focus. In this case, I'm gonna do about a 5.6. And then, um, because I'm gonna lose some light on that, I can drop my shutter speed to about one two. This is about the selection I'm going to choose right now. You stay right there. All I need is your eye. Doesn't, and make your eyes happy, okay? Okay, very good. They're, they look medium happy. That, that's happier. Good. All right. And so if I get it this close, then I can make small little adjustments. Like as I'm getting in this close, I can tell that I need to drop my shutter speed. So I'm going to go down to 1 125th. All right, give me your eye. Bring it. Beautiful. Stay. Excellent. And then what I have is a full one-to-one -one of his eye in the frame. So that's the macro capabilities of a lens. I could do about 10 episodes on the macro capabilities of this lens because they're so sharp. But in this case, I want to show you again the versatility, um, why I grab this lens on nearly every shoot. Here I'm going to do a portrait, just a simple portrait, and show you how this can be a gorgeous classic portrait lens because it has some of those killer attributes. First of all, with the focal length, it's very flattering for my subject. I get a very sharp, crisp capture of my subject, but I get that beautiful bokeh or that soft background where it's blurred and, um, and just really has a lovely look to it. Sarah, can you help me out real quick for a second? Thank you, the lovely Sarah. If you could come over and do me a favor and just bounce some light up into my subject so I can get a really clean portrait of him. Um, let's, let's try something where we're going to bring it a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Right like that. What I'm looking for with this fill is just to get some good bounce in his eyes. And Caleb, do me a favor. Put your hand like in your pocket, maybe like this, just simple. Yep, exactly, just a shot like that. And then I'm gonna use this at an F2.8. I've got him really separated from the background, which is what I want for a lovely portrait like this with good bokeh. I'm gonna step back, good. Beautiful, excellent smiling. And lastly, at least for the purposes of this show, I wanna show how I like using this lens as a close-up lens, not a portrait, not a macro, just a nice clean focus of the head and the, maybe a little bit of the shoulders. Beautiful, Caleb, just like that. 
Thanks so much for joining me on this episode. Join me next time on Redefine Show for Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for all kinds of awesome content. And on a future episode, I'll try to show you the fast moving subjects, how you can use this lens for speedy, speedy moving people. See you soon. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.